hello friends show with this site so friends this video is regarding the mediator library which I'm gonna show you how to use this mediator NuGet package so the first I just want to tell you the problem statement what problem it solved so here I have a visual studio in this I have created a simple web application so I will give you a small introduction about that so in this application i have a one controller values controller inside this i have a method get method so get method is responsible for giving me some data so based on the service it will return me some data so i have injected one service and in this service we have a count method if i go inside that so it will give me 50. so the whenever i i'll call this count method the output should be 50. so this is the problem statement here what problem will occur suppose i want to add some more services correct for example service 1 service 2 service 3 service 4 so in that case i need to inject all the services in the values controller so my dependency is very high so it depends on how many service you want to inject so based on that you can increase the number of parameters but mediator pattern solve this problem so I'll show you how it is solved so first I will tell you how you can install this so for installing the mediator pattern you can go to the newguide.org and we have a mediator library over here so you can install this by using NuGet Package Manager console. So for my application, I have already installed this NuGet package, correct? So firstly, I'll just show you how to use that. Once you install it, you just need to go into the startup file and you have to add this file, add this line, which is help, uh, it helps you to add mediator in your application. So once you do that, so the only dependency is required is the mediator dependency the only you have to just add this i mediator this is the only dependency you need to require in this application also you just want to add only one parameter over here so i'll add the mediator parameter okay so this is the dependency I have only al already added in this and here instead of calling this service dot count I will call the method mediator dot send method so we have a method called send it ask me for the object so for that I have created two request class the first request class is responsible for giving me count in the values but it will return integer in the second request it will give me the count with the help of string it return type is string so what i have to do i just need to call the send method of the mediator and i just need to pass the request object which object which request object i need to pass so here if you see this is the request and this is the request 2 and both are inherited from i request int type and this is for the string type so int and the string should be the return type okay so what it does it basically call the handler so we have one handler this is the first handler this is the second handler in the first handler this is my request object which gives me integer as a return type here in the second it will give me string as a return type so inside the handler we have this handle method and the, the for second handler we have this handler method so whenever a request will come so whenever a request will come this send will call the handler as per the object you are passing suppose i am passing the request to over here so it will call the handler which is responsible for responsible for serving the request 
uh, serving the request by request object to so finally this handler will call and it will return me the output so the mediator pattern encapsulate all the thing and it gives you a data so it helps you to remove the dependency so i'll show you how it's work so i just break put a breakpoint over here i just need to start this application so here you can see this breakpoint is hit and if i go f10 you will see this handler 2 is calling because i am calling the request to object and it give me the 5 it return me the string so the output would be 5 correct also if i change this request 2 to only request and further execute it now it will call this method inside the handler we have a method so now it will call this method so if i go over here now you can see because i am passing the request object so it will call this handler so with the help of the object whatever you object you will pass it based on that it will call the appropriate handler so it will help you to remove the to minimize the dependency so guys if you have any question you can put a comment over there and you can email me in the description you will see my email id so thank you so much for watching this please subscribe it thank you